So welcome along to a little video podcast on the bank track. Um, the, the, the maths, there are a few little bits of maths here that are slightly awkward. I, I mean, it's not crazy maths, but you, we are best off using tan, I think. Um, and students don't seem to like tan. It's also kind of awkward getting this theta into that diagram up there. So I've kind of pre-prepared my diagram to give you as much chance of, as possible as a, a following of what's going on. So if you want to imagine what's going on, you can imagine a cyclist at the Olympics on the velodrome coming straight towards us, a car on a bank track uh, driving straight towards us. But there's some kind of object in circular motion and it's currently coming out there up towards you like that. And at the same time, maybe if I kind of draw. Um, it's here kind of going round in a horizontal circle like that. So we're going to have a combination of vertical equilibrium. It's not accelerating up or down, but it is accelerating horizontally towards the centre of that circle. So there are actually only two forces if we ignore friction. And in physics, A level, we are going to ignore friction in this instant. We're going to have a reaction force acting perpendicular to the surface. It's perpendicular to the surface because there's no friction. And we're going to have a weight mg acting down. And this weight mg is going to be exactly balanced by the vertical component of the reaction. So the reaction force has two components, a vertical component here and a horizontal component. So the blue lines uh, are not new forces. They simply represent um, the two components of the reaction force, which is there. But we can add in. I haven't done that that neatly, but that is mg. Or we can sometimes call it Rv, but react the vertical component of the reaction force. <clears throat> and down here we have Rh, R horizontal, and that's going to be equal to the centripetal force. And we can relate those two things because they form this right angle triangle, and we're going to consider. Um, maybe I'll try a highlighter. This right angle triangle. And the thing I always find tricky is not getting the sides of the triangle right, it's getting the angle into the triangle. So let's have a little go. That angle there, because it's in a right angle triangle, so that's 90 degrees. So if that's 90, that plus that must be 90. So that one there is 90 minus theta. I've added this orange line parallel to the surface. And that angle there must be 90 minus theta as well. Because these, is, these are... Um, no, that angle there must be 90 minus theta because that angle there and that angle there are Z angles, aren't they? We've got the blue and the red forms a straight line. The orange is parallel to the black. So there's a Z angle there. That angle there is 90 minus theta. That makes this angle here that I was trying to draw before theta makes that angle there, because the orange dotted line and the red line are at right angles, that angle there is 90 minus theta. So that angle there is theta. Um, I do apologise for that not being as easy as it should be, but I don't know of any other way of doing it. So we're going to pick out that triangle now. We've got the reaction force. We've got the vertical component, which must be equal to mg. And we've got the horizontal component, which must be equal to mv squared over r. And we now know that that angle there is theta. So tan theta is equal to the opposite, which is mv squared over r divided by the adjacent, which is mg, 
the m's will cancel and you get tan theta is equal to v squared over rg i don't suggest that you learn that what i suggest you do is you get familiar with the diagram and i have got um a question that that closely closely mirrors that there is another situation i'm going to say a little bit less about i will say something about sometimes called a conical pendulum um but a ball on a string swinging around and again we've got the weight acting straight down we've got the tension like the reaction force has a vertical component and a horizontal component the vertical component of the reaction force must be equal to rv must equal to mg because it's in vertical equilibrium and rh the horizontal component must equal mv squared over r of course in both cases mv squared over r could be replaced by um, mr omega squared if you're dealing with angular velocity and we've got if that's the angle of the pendulum then that would come in here as theta so we'd have the tension would be here there's theta there's rv which is mg sorry about the messages coming through on my phone here's mv squared over r so in this case tan theta would equal mv squared over r divided by mg so again tan theta equals v squared over rg got some good questions um designed to make sure you really got that so um, we haven't had any pauses for questions now so you need to get on to your get onto the questions now and check that you can do the work